I remember it like it was yesterday, December 2019. So I was fresh off the aisle. I had literally just gotten married and there was just something in me that felt I didn't want to be labeled as, you know, new wife. You know what the industry does to you and makes you feel like once you get married, like you're not part of the industry anymore. So there was that tug of war that I was doing within myself and I just felt like, okay, I need to change this narrative and I need to do a show. I had done a show the year before. which was incredibly successful. So I felt, okay, we can do this again. But imagine my wedding was November and then I was trying to have this show on December. This is in the thick of Dirty December. I had my 11 piece band. I had my choreographer, I had dancers. I had my costume designer. I had all these various pieces that I had to put together as well as plan a wedding craziness with that premise you already know why this thing went wrong after the wedding i was straight into the studio with my band almost every day i think every day for like about two to three weeks i was going to dance rehearsals i was trying to sort out stuff with the location with the venue set design sound engineering producing all the tracks for the show creating the backdrops i had to do that all myself creating all the looks creating the makeup looks creating the looks for the dancers creating looks for the band <laughs> so it was just crazy i had this genius idea that okay well since i just got married why don't i just make it a show about a wedding like make it theater style and create it around this whole love story so that's what i did mm -mm. I think I was forcing it so, so much that it just ended up crumbling. The other thing was that Cardi B was having a show that night. It was like very close to my venue. So as you can imagine, a lot of people ended up going to that show and like not coming to mind, even though they paid for tickets, they just didn't show up. We had some sound issues. Some of my supporting acts didn't turn up because they were part of some other like bigger shows. That shouldn't be an excuse, but that's what it was. My intention for that show was to get away from the narrative of being a newlywed, get away from the narrative of not being suitable for the industry anymore now that I'm married. I wanted to continue on my journey of music without everybody being too distracted. One thing that I've learned now five years into my marriage is that everything can actually be aligned. It's just about how you tell the narrative and it's about your intentions behind it. The bottom line was that it was super, super rushed. Chaotic backstage as well. The hall was half empty. I lost so much money and I wasn't at my best. So yeah, this is just a lesson to you guys. Don't ever force anything. Don't ever rush into anything. Always look for the intention behind what you're doing. And if it's not the right time, it's not the right time and that's okay. Thank you guys for watching and see you in our next gisting session.